The hilltop drew me here in 2001. Yes, drew me. I had recently sold my house on the south side of Columbus and through the twisting of life and people, found myself with nowhere to live. Well, people, this is not the way I roll. Through faith-filled prayer, I obtained a lovely new home on the hilltop, sponsored by the Columbus Housing Partnership. It's a 15-year option to buy program, though. Some say it is not the ideal neighborhood. Some say it's a terrible deal. Some say it is fine, but I, I say it's wonderful. How else, you see, could an old disaided lady like me on a small income attain a real nice home like this? My home is attractive, affordable, well-maintenanced, roomy, and will be my very own eventually. Yep, only on the hilltop. There are other communities now with the same program, but this was the first one and the best one. There were some strange, resentful words spoken to us initially from the people on the street in back of us. But it is smoothed out now, and everyone exhibits tolerance, and all appears well. Have you seen West Ball near Georgesville Road? It, including West Mellon Mall, is like a ghost town. There are empty buildings everywhere. When I look, I see the wide vistas which so appeal to me. But the empty buildings on the wide vistas, it's sad. But it will be restored, I know. I read the mayor has a restore initiative in the works for that area, although I don't know when it is to begin. I have perceived in world antiquity, you know, that the West has always been a space more accepting of experiment, stoic in change, expansion, rugged individuality and uniqueness. You know, a different drumbeat aura about the people of unquenchable spirit. In our own America, the West was and is that and so much more to come. I cannot help but think and see I was drawn here. Well, you see, I fancy myself a free thinker and fit in those parameters. I am too an artist, a musician, a writer, and other times have been more. As a person of maverick spirit, this sense of displacement that has plagued me since I left Chicago in 1975 has finally found release on the hilltop. A large Latino and smaller Somali community has sprung up on the hilltop. They have even opened several businesses. Spanish is everywhere. A few blocks from me, someone is flying the Confederate flag. A block from there is a Muslim halal meat market. And a block down there are two Asiatic markets. There are so many non-English speaking school children in the Southwestern District that special programs had to be added and interpreters hired, but they fi fired some of the um, long-standing school teachers. There's not a good feeling about that. House taxes are steadily being raised and levies repeatedly placed on, ba on the ballot even after rejection. Of course, the newer population don't have a tax base, so it's levied against the homeowners. This is, however, truly a community of many cultures and individuality, the hilltop. The wide vistas, though, that I mentioned before, it gives me this sense of expansion. And I swear, it seems to trigger my creativity. 
while my artistic abilities have expanded and I'm doing some art pieces that have really gotten attention and caused me for the first time in my life to have my work accepted in a gallery. I continue to expand as an open-minded human being, though. And I try and work at being an acceptable soul to God when dealing with all the uniqueness and newness of different people. I think it all has to do with exposure to different cultures, the lingering aura of hilltop history in the air, and the placement of being in the West. My own sense of placement and wide vistas lets me see and think unimpeded. Yep, only on the hilltop.